welcome to all of you in this lecture we discuss about both the theory of automata and formal language lecture 3 lecture 3 is based on the context free grammars uh, generated context free language and accepted by the pda we discuss in this before we discussing the context free grammar we have just revised the last lecture we discuss about both the uh, grammar in this uh, in the previous lecture we discuss about both the uh, regular grammar uh, uh, i will discuss about to the some questions related to the how to convert the automata to regular grammars now we discuss about to we just take a some example to convert the finite automata to to we just convert to finite automata to regular grammar we just take a example uh, that is initial state for a finite machine q not we just a uh, zero input one input it change the state q1 and next we just take a, a zero input it change to state q2 in the one none we just take a, a state is q3 and zero we change the state q1 now we take an example there is a finite state is also take a inputs zero now this is a finite automata now we just convert this finite automata into the regular grammar how to convert the uh, finite automata to regular grammar we just take a in a state q not it's take a input cha change to state reach to the q1 state q not state it's take a input 0 and reach to q not next q1 state which is both a 0 and 1 inputs we just check it both 0 and 1 input in a zero input in a zero input in a q1 state is change to q2 in one input it's take change to q3 state now we check also check about to q3 state in a q3 state it's take a input 0 to change the state q1 and the final state is q2 in a q2 state is a finite state it's take a input and reach again to q2 state and also is a finite state is a reach to epsilon that's a regular grammar same as we also or oh, convert the finite automata to the regular grammar but the grammar is right most grammar always generate a right most grammar in the yeah. our next example is based on the case of a left linear grammar to the finite automata we can also to uh, convert the uh, uh, finite automata to the left linear grammar but there is a no need to be convert the left linear but we just discuss about to the uh, problems now finite automata to regular grammar in left linear grammar now we just is we we'll just take a some example same as we just take example initial state q not zero input one input reach to q1 state and uh, again zero q2 one q1 we we'll just take example and q3 is a final state it's a zero It's a finite state. Let's take another zero. Reach to Q four. In a Q four, let's take a one input. Reach to Q five, and Q five. Let's take a input zero. Reach to the Q three is a finite state. Now we just convert this finite machine to finite machine to left linear grammar. there is some steps to convert the finite automata to the left linear grammar first we generate the regular expression for a given machine finite automata just take a first we just is regular expression to convert this machine q not is a loop zero stick is a loop and next is one input reach to q1 that is a cycle cycle uh, is a zero and one next is next will be state will change is zero reach to finite state that's another cycle is 0 1 0 next cycle is 
वन जीरो दैट इज ए रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन वी जस्ट कन्वर्ट द मशीन टू रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन ओके नाउ आफ्टर वी कन्वर्ट द रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन वी जस्ट डिजाइन ए जनरेट ए रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन एंड रिवर्स द रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज ए रिवर्स द रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन दैट इज ए फर्स्ट स्टेप सेकेंड स्टेप द रिवर्स द रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन वी जस्ट रिवर्स द रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन इज जस्ट रिवर्स इज जीरो वन जीरो स्टेक जीरो वन जीरो वन एंड जीरो स्टेक दैट इज ए रिवर्स ऑफ रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन नाउ वी जस्ट कन्वर्ट दिस रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन टू द फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा कन्वर्ट द रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन टू फाइनाइट मशीन नाउ जस्ट ऑब्जर्व दिस मशीन फॉर रिगार्डिंग द रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन जस्ट इनिशियल स्टेट इज क्यू नॉर्थ इज इनिशियल स्टेट इज ए जीरो चेंज टू क्यू वन वन इज चेंज टू क्यू टू and next to zero is change to q1 next is zero next one is this uh, is a again cycle next is state is a q3 is take a one input change the state is q4 and q4 take a zero input reach to the q3 next is take a one input is reach to the q5 final state q5 and next zero stick okay that is a finite machine for a given above regular expression okay now we just same as convert this finite automata to to right linear grammar it's always convert the right linear grammar so we just convert the right linear grammar we just take this observe it the machine is here now we just convert the regular expression okay now this machine is converted in the right linear grammar in a zero q not it's take a q not zero reach to q3 and q0 is also reach to q1 next check it q2 q not is complete now we check is q1 q1 it's take a input 1 and reach to q2 and q2 it's take a input 0 reach to q0 it's complete q0 q1 and q2 is complete now we take about to q3 q3 is take a input 1 reach to q4 and q4 take input 0 reach to q3 and the last final state uh is also take a q3 also take a 1 and reach to q5 now here we just check it q5 is a final state it's take a input 0 reach to q5 and also epsilon that is a right linear grammar now we just convert this right linear grammar into the left linear grammar we just reverse the order we just reverse the order here now just check it q not just complete we just remove this machine now here now we just reverse the q not generate a q 
3 0 and q1 0 q1 q2 1 q2 generate a q0 1 q0 0 q3 q4 1 and also q5 1 q4 generate q3 it's complete now last state is q5 0 q5 and f sin that is a right linear left linear grammar is converted now now we discuss about to the today topics is based on a context free grammar first we de define the context free grammars is generate a context free languages context free grammar generate a context free languages now first discuss about to the grammar in a grammar a, any production is given as a alpha generate beta uh, here we uh, only restriction on the right hand side give a restriction restriction is only single variable is length is equal to one there is a no restriction on a uh, right hand side there is a no restriction any a string or it will be generated over a alpha un, uh, variables and terminals. There is a no restriction on right hand side. No, not res, no restriction. Restriction. This type of a grammar is known as a context free grammar or context free grammar is generated context free language and context free language is accepted by the PDA. We discuss also. Now, what is the difference? There is a context free language generated by the context free grammar and regular language is generated by the regular grammar generated regular languages so there is the same now how to identify the context free languages and uh, regular language differences here we are in a regular languages if a language is accepted by a finite machine this types of a language is known as a regular languages if a finite automata is not accept the languages may be accepted by the context free languages the, now we discuss about to the how to identify the languages in a finite automata is on used to only count a, a finite number just take example a number of a, a are, are 3 and number of a b is, is 3 3b 3a followed by 3b is there is a finite numbers is accepted by finite automata uh, here we check the languages is a k power n b k power n here is a infinite n is n is greater than equal to 1 there is a n is a infinite the language generated by this grammar or is a infinite languages languages is uh, just start with languages is equal to 1 a b a a b b and so on that is a infinite language now this infinite language is not be accepted by the finite automata this is accepted by PDA machine. Same as another language will be the reverse of a string, W string is the reverse of a W string. Just take example A B A, the reverse of is A B A. There is a W and W reverse of a languages. Uh, in the context free languages, is used to count a uh, uh, identify the occurrence of a symbol and also count a infinite numbers. Is count a counting in finite its count only finite now we discuss the context free grammar generate a context free languages and context free languages accepted by the push down automata there is a two types of classified the push down automata in the basis of a language there is a two types of language deterministic context free deterministic context free grammar and non deterministic context free grammar generate a context free deterministic context free grammar generate a deterministic context free languages and non deterministic context free grammar generate a non context free context free languages and dc fz is accepted by the uh, deterministic push down on automata and uh, dc fz plus and dcf is are both are accepted by 
NDPDA, non-deterministic push-down automata, so that the power of an NDPDA is higher than the DPDA. Why? Because the D NDPDA, non-deterministic push-down automata, is uh, accept the both types of a uh, grammars, deterministic grammar and non-deterministic grammars, also accepted by the NDPDA, so that the power of a NDPDA is higher than the DPDA. Now, we discuss in detail context free grammar. Now, how to identify the context free grammar? That the basic definition is of a context free grammar is generate a context free language accepted by the push down automata. It is given any production alpha or is beta. The restriction on a right hand side, there is a one restriction on a right hand side, only length of a s is always equal to 1, and there is a no restrictions. Both the combination of a, a string and terminal variables and terminal, there is a variables and union terminal any variables and terminals on the right hand side. This types of a grammar is known as a context free grammar. Now, we just take a der uh, derivation for this grammar. Derivation is a process to drive a, a string for a given grammar. Now, just take a grammar uh, and generate a, a string. Uh, just take a grammar S A S B production S generate A S B. Again, S is generate a Again, S is generated A, S, B, B. Now, we just use the uh, next production is S, L, epsilon, lambda. The language is A, A, B, B. This is the derivation. is also known as a sentinel form of a grammar. Now, same thing we discuss. Uh, this types of a grammar generate the languages a key power n b key power n just we just discuss the derivation and derivation tree we just uh, discuss about to the derivation and derivation tree the derivation of a given grammar is given as a derivation is s generate a s b same example we just again use the derivation a sentinel form of a grammar we just use again rec same recursive a a s B B again is A A. We just put the lam lambda here. B B. There is a number of A and number of B's are generated, or N is always greater than and equal to zero. This also generate a F sign. The language is generated by this grammar is L. First is S generate a epsilon. Another language is smallest string of generated. This language is a B. Next string is generated. First string, we just put the lambda. First string is A A A B. Next is A A B B. Next is A A three times of A followed by three times of B and so on. A A B B. 3 A followed by 3 B. Language is infinite. This language is not accepted by finite automata because there is a no oh, any a mechanism to count a infinite numbers. So we uh, need to another mechanisms we are using to the stack extra data structure to count the numbers of symbols. Now this is a, it's complete. Now we just take the derivation tree S A S B. Another we just take a, a s b left hand side growth and right hand side growth number of a and number of b's and epsilon it is generated a key power n epsilon b key power n that is a n is greater than or equal to 0 now another grammar we just generate a, another derivation for a given grammar uh, derivation now check it the derivation drive the derivation and derivation tree both here there is a given a derivation s generated that is a start symbol a s a now just use the another derivation derivation 1 2 and 3 here we are using to first derivation here we are using to second derivation next is again using first derivation and we are using to 
epsilon that is a 3 derivation to be raised to generate a, a b a a b a spring that is a reverse of a string w w r yes you know just identify this a string a b a the reverse of a b a also now just check the derivation tree for a given grammar yes is a start symbols a s a now we put the s b s b next you just put a s a next s is lambda now we just read the yard is a result yard we just read left to right left to right a b a lambda a b a that is a string w is the reverse of the string for this types of a language generated by the grammars the language is given as a w w r for w belongs to a strings this language is generated by the grammar now just same as now we just check the another grammar this generated language Java language is generated this grammar now check it first we check the derivation this uh, derivation is a process to generate a string now we just take a smart string to generate we just take a ss production s generate ss productions in uh, in a s we uh, use to the one two and three production here we are using to the first production observe it first production here a s b this is a first uh, this is a second production yes, uh, there is a first production we are using uh, here we are using to the third production productions or here also we using the third productions it is generate a smallest to you uh, string is a b now check the derivation tree s use s s now we are using s a s b okay now just take a small string is generate epsilon is also generate epsilon now we just use the uh, left to right read a epsilon b epsilon it's a a b smallest string will be generated okay there is a number of a, a and number of a b's are equal here is a number of a number of number of number of a and number of a b's are equal number of a, a and equal number of a b's in this grammar now we just check a change the grammar now we just slightly change the grammar just to slightly change the grammar we just put the terminal here we just put the terminal a here now how now how to identify the language generated by this grammar uh, first we use to derivation now we just use the derivation s generate a s s now we just use to the another first production second production and third production now we using the first production replace the first production here a a s b s now we using to third production a a b s now we are using to another third production a a b now we observe this uh, smart string observe the smart string number of a, a is number of a is greater than number of b's okay same there sir now we definition of a context free grammars also we will discuss about to the change the grammar or is a grammar that is a variables terminals production and start symbols of a grammar
no a language is, is a context free language if and only if grammar there is a, a context free generated by the context free grammars if a language generated by the context free grammar the language is a context free languages the derivation also we discuss about the derivation derivation is a process to drive the uh, string is known as a derivation tree and the graphical representation of a uh, uh, drive a string is known as a derivation tree now derivation tree define a definition of a derivation tree on the basis of a grammar is given here vtps variable terminal production start symbols in the ordered tree is a, is a derivation tree of a given grammar if and only if the root is labeled as as is a start symbol art symbols and second is a, every leaf has a label from terminus and f silence if uh, any e, uh, non terminal having uh, not not having a terminal is mentioned as a f silence lambda and f silence also we are using f silence next is a, every interior interior vertex has a label v if a vertex has a label in variables and its childs are labeled from left to right next is same as we read the left to right is known as a yard if if a next five points we discuss about a leaf label is lambda epsilon has a no sibling just check it the same start start with s symbols if a variables b variables if a variables a having a terminal a but b is not having a terminal so we are just mentioned as a f lambda that is a union of terminals and epsilon in say leaf float is known as a leaf leaf or we just read the leaf is a lambda we read is left to right yard is the result yard is the result to obtain from left to right now just check the example take a example uh, first grammar is given as s generate a ab two variables now we just mentioned that grammar is uh, defined as variables a b terminus is given here terminus is given as smr a smr b and lambda Okay. Next uh, start symbol is S is a start symbols. That is a given production, and production is given here. Production is given here. This is a production one, two, three. Production is given one, two, and three productions are given here. Okay. Now we just drive a tree, derivation tree. Is a graphical representation of drive generate a string. It's not as a derivation tree. Derivation tree. We are using the start symbol as generate a and b. Now a a we are using to second a generate a a a a is a variable. Small a is a terminus. That is a parse. Also is known as a also a parser. Parser. derivation tree there is a full complete derivation tree next we using to b production b generate a b b now just a generate a again epsilon and b generate a again epsilon the language is generated we just observe that we just read the yard as we read as a a b the language yes uh, smr string is generate a a b there is a derivation tree now sentinel form a uh, intermediate step involved in the derivation is known as a sentinel form of a grammar the grammar is given here e plus e e stick e e equal to e 
E and ID. Now just take a sentinel form is the intermediate step to involve to drive the uh, derivation. Uh, first we just just E plus E we are using to we just generate a string uh, ID plus ID into ID. So first is we just generate this ID yes string we generate this string string for using the grammar uh, we just step by step derivation is known as a sentinel form that is the first step we are using to there is a first step EID just next step is ID plus E ID plus next we are using to another second uh, derivation E stick E next we are using to ID plus uh, E E also generate a ID ID stick E next again E ID plus ID into ID that is a string generated by this grammar. Now, now, now we stop here and discuss continue for the next lecture. Okay. Thank you.